This is me. And this is my buddy Brendan. We're standing in a cargo net 150 feet off the ground. And 50 feet below us is a treehouse sitting in between three redwoods. Let me explain how we got here. Wow, I'm gonna have to go way back for this one. No, 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 here. So about four years ago, I was ziplining in Santa Cruz. When I heard from our guide about a tree house in the Santa Cruz mountains, even with a pin to its location, I was still skeptical. It didn't sound real. Well, a few days later, I made another trip out to Santa Cruz to find the treehouse. And sure enough... No! Do you see it? There it was. Look at that! A treehouse towering over us in the middle of a forest with only tree branches as a ladder. I felt like I was in one of my childhood fantasies. We started climbing up the tree with childlike glee until we realized how high we had to go. Like, this was really high. Look, that's me right there, and that tiny speck down there is my friend on the ground. One wrong move, and you could have a quick trip back to the forest floor. But we made it up fine, like 15 times actually. The following year, I would come to the treehouse a lot to see its changes and upgrades. I was there when a pulley system was installed so you could bring up supplies without having to worry about them while you climbed. Another time I showed up to a swing that allowed you to swing over the forest floor. There was always a new story when you got there, whether it was like a fresh painting on the floor or a traveler already hanging out up there. But the coolest thing of all was a cargo net hanging 50 feet above the treehouse. One time I showed up to find the treehouse broken and strewn across the forest floor. The day was finally here. I knew it had been coming for a while. The treehouse was inherently dangerous. With word of its location spreading, someone had to fall off of it eventually. I mean, GoPro even made a video about it. Pretty sketch. All right, you ready to head up? There's easy climbs, there's ones that don't go as high, but this is the first tree. This is the one that helped me conquer my fears. Turns out someone had fallen and hurt themselves, and some authoritative power had seen it right to cut the thing down. I mean, I couldn't blame them. The treehouse's destruction got me curious as to who built it in the first place, so I started doing some research to find out. I first gave a call to Declan, who most people at the treehouse affectionately referred to as Tree Master. The guy would spend days at the treehouse just hanging out and helping people up and down the tree. I had swapped numbers with him a while back, so I gave him a call and asked him who made it. Well, I was told it was a student working with two professors at UC Santa Cruz, but I never saw any evidence to confirm this. Hmm, a rumor. Interesting, but I wanted hard evidence, so I took to the internet looking for an answer. I started by browsing Santa Cruz subreddits to find any information. There was a lot of posts on the treehouse, but mostly they just talked about finding the place or different rumors on how people got injured climbing and who took the structure down. Digging further, I found a bunch of videos of people climbing the treehouse on YouTube, but no information on where the treehouse had come from. That was until I discovered a video posted over five years ago, and in the comment section, someone had commented a link to a video showing the treehouse being constructed. Finally. Hey guys, you want to see a video of the treehouse? Hey, okay, there's the ground. There's the treehouse. Yeah, I gotta see what we got here. And it wasn't it. Well, at least it wasn't the right treehouse. There was another treehouse in Santa Cruz that perfectly matched this video, but this treehouse was impossible to access without a rope and harness. I had failed, but I wasn't mad. Maybe the treehouse's origin was meant to remain a mystery. There's something beautiful about an anonymous person creating a place for people's childlike fantasies to come alive. A place where you can meet other travelers like you and enjoy such a special experience for free. 
I like to believe that it came from a fairy tale.